Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel, Travis Gets Creative. If this is your first time here, you are very welcome. Please pull up a chair and make sure to click that subscribe button so you'll be notified when I post new videos. If you are a returning subscriber, welcome back to my channel. I am happy to have you back. Uh, it's been a little while since I have uploaded a video. Um, I did a quick, um, kind of like a time-lapsed kid up video uh, but this is the first time since my dad passed away that I'm making an official video where I actually talk through it and do something. Uh, this is going to be a whip and chat where I catch up with you and answer some questions that I was tagged in. Um, I believe they're Mrs. Coffee's tag questions. Um, I'm not really sure on that, but um, yeah, I was tagged by Kath Tremaniac and I am happy to answer these questions and I hope by the end of this video you will know me a little bit better and I look forward to tagging a few people uh, towards the end of the video so stay tuned for that to see if you or someone you know has been tagged by yours truly me uh, yeah so it's been an interesting few months for anyone that doesn't know my dad passed away unexpectedly of a heart attack on May 4th. Uh, he was discovered on May 5th after not coming home from work on the 4th. So uh, life has kind of been topsy-turvy because of that. Um, have had a lot of ups and downs. Uh, I've been really blessed by a lot of amazing people in the diamond painting community that have been checking in on me and uh, just the amount of amazing people that donated to the GoFundMe which helped us cremate my dad. Um, I do have a 17-year-old brother, a 15-year-old sister, and a 9-year-old sister, so as you can expect, they're taking it uh, pretty hard. Um, I just turned 38 this year, but they are very young, so they sadly didn't get the time with him that they should have been able to have. But um, he was 61, and... Yeah, just an unfortunate situation. Um, but yeah, I appreciate everyone's messages of support and prayers and just everyone checking in. Um, in terms of what comes next, uh, I don't know. I'm probably going to be moving um, within the next four or five months or so. Um, all that is still up in the air because we're going through probate and dealing with a, an estate lawyer. So... Um, once I know more about that situation, I'll update everyone. But I'm safe and stable right now. I have a roof over my head. Um, I don't know if you can hear the fan in the background. I have it going. Um, it's almost 11.30 as I'm filming this, and it's currently 80 degrees in here. So the fan is keeping me pretty cool right now. Um, one cool announcement I have is that uh, Cindy over at Diamond Painting Fanatics has agreed to turn some of my AI generated art into diamond paintings so that was amazing um, I had gotten with her asking her to give me some feedback on some art I was making and it was kinda cool because she said she had to have them as diamond paintings and uh, we kinda of went from there and signed a contract and all of that fun stuff and then my dad unexpectedly passed away so we had to uh, push everything back a little bit and th I'm so thankful to Cindy because she was so supportive through it all um, so many other people were as well but uh, Cindy definitely made sure to stay in touch with me multiple times a day um, yeah she's the one that started the GoFundMe and she was just very supportive and understanding so um, when it did become time to release the diamond paintings um, she kind of talked to me and gauged whether or not I felt I was ready and we decided to move forward so uh, two weeks ago now well it was the first Monday of July I believe I'm not gonna look up the calendar to figure it out but it was a few weeks a few weeks ago technically however you want to quantify that so yeah I've been 
blessed with all of the interest in that and all the kind words of encouragement everyone has been sending me. So I uh, definitely go check out Diamond Painting Fanatics to find all of my art as diamond paintings. Um, here's a little sneak peek. I actually sent her about 120 images. So uh, there's probably going to be a lot more coming over the next few months. So definitely check back to see uh, when she has releases. Of course, Cindy has some other amazing artists, um, one of which is Nazgul, whose diamond painting I'm working on right now. Um, yeah, she has amazing artists over there, so definitely check out what they have to offer as well. And you can use my discount code, my fanatics code, if you will, uh, Travis10, and that will save you 10% during your checkout. So that's a nice little bonus. Uh, she is based in the UK, so everything drop ships from China if you live outside of the UK. If you live in the UK, then the orders go directly to her, and she does a little something extra to them, and then she ships them directly to those people in the UK. So their experience is a little bit different, but um, it's just how it worked out in order to save shipping costs and shipping time. Um, anyone outside of the United States gets theirs drop shipped from China. And uh, I've received a few orders in the mail now. Um, they're packaged really well. I haven't had any issues, thankfully, so I'm happy to report that um, customer service is great, so I encourage you to give them a try, <laughs> if I do say so myself. Uh, that's a little self-serving, I know, but you're never going to know unless you try. Uh, let's see. Um... Sorry, my brain's kind of scattered today. Uh, I had to go give blood work this morning at the doctor's office, and of course I showed up 15 minutes early thinking that I'd get shown right in, and it didn't really work out that way, unfortunately. Um, I actually, my appointment was at 9 a.m., and I showed up at 9.45 a.m., and I didn't get back to start the blood work process until about 9.03 a.m., so they were right on time, I just hoped getting early meant I would get seen earlier, but it didn't work out. But, I mean, 15 minutes is not a difficult amount of time to wait. Sometimes in doctor's offices you have to wait 30 to 45 minutes past your appointment time. So uh, This is a new doctor that I'm seeing, so I have a follow-up appointment, appointment with him next week to go over the blood work, and then... Uh, hopefully we'll get me set up with the uh, psychiatric team and therapy and all of that good stuff. Uh, my insurance changed at the beginning of the year, so it took me almost four months to get into this new doctor's office. So, yeah, it would be good to get established back in care, and if I have anything to say about it, my insurance will not change until I decide to move from this state, if and when that will be. So, uh, this diamond painting, let me zoom you out here, oh, hi, <laughs> uh, this diamond painting is Solemn Nazgul, I know you can't see it, it's kind of got a glare issue and some other stuff, so I'm just going to zoom in on the part I'm working on today, since we're doing kind of like a whipping chat and answering those whip questions but I'm loving this purple and these blues and pinks and then of course the horse is uh, kind of in the shadow with black and some deeper purples um, yeah I'm really loving this image the sparkle is wonderful I hope you can see that of course I have my hello I'm socially awkward cover minder here and my Tree of Life Oregon cover minder from Eclectic Vibes cover minders and a fox cover minder that I picked up because most of you know by now I love foxes. Uh, let's see, the tray I'm using is a shrimp boat from Nix's Notions. It's this beautiful neon green color, which is my favorite. Um, 
Sorry about the glare, it's acting kind of weird. Let's see if I can decrease this a little bit. There we go, I think that's good. Might be a little dark, but I'll brighten it up in the editing software if I need to. So it's this beautiful neon green color. And then the pin I'm using is this beautiful pin that I picked up from Gracie uh, over at Gracie's Diamond World in Australia. She actually mailed this to me after I bought it in one of her auctions, and it's just perfect for this canvas. It matches wonderfully. So yeah, I've been enjoying using that. I have some of the O-Snap dots in the single placer, and in the multi-placer I am trying out this uh, caulk. I'll give you the flow ride of your life. <laughs> Uh, this is from Abigail. Um, I believe it's at Swartz Homemade is the name of her company. So I will include all the necessary links in the description below so you can find all that wonderful stuff. Um, I think that's all I need to tell you to get caught up. Um, yeah, I don't have any definitive plans for any events right now. Um, I might try to do one of my foxes for claws and paws, uh, which comes up in August, but uh, we'll just have to see how I'm doing and everything. And my plastic is tearing. My badness. Bonus points if you know what movie that's from. Uh, I do want to say thank you to Kath for tagging me to answer these questions. Uh, it was nice to be thought of, so thank you so much, Kath. Uh, the first question in the list of tag questions is, how many diamond paintings have you completed? Uh, I've only been diamond painting for about a year, and I am a pretty slow diamond painter, um, kind of temperature dependent on when I can diamond paint so when it's cooler outside I can diamond paint more frequently when it's hot um, I can really only diamond paint at night or in the very early morning which is usually when I'm trying to sleep so um, I do my best to stick to a, a schedule and I try to diamond paint before bed especially in the summer because that's pretty much the only time I have to do it as I said so anyway back around to the question All right, the first question is, how many diamond paintings have you completed? Uh, I started diamond painting about a year ago. I began with uh, some Amazon diamond paintings, 30 by 40. And then I quickly found uh, a few other companies and upgraded to larger sizes, but I'm still kind of a slow diamond painter. So I've only completed eight diamond paintings in a year. Um, I currently have five whips. Uh, this is one of them. <laughs> and I'm only on the second row, so <laughs> I cannot tell you when these five whips are going to be done, but I will do my best and I'm enjoying the process, so that's good. Uh, how many diamond paintings do you currently have in your stash? should have looked this up. I'm going to have to go to Jim's Flow and figure this out. All right, I have 23 in my stash, um, which does not include the five whips. So I think that's a pretty good stash for me. Um, that'll probably last me like 10 years with my speed, so. Uh, no, hopefully it won't take that long, but. Um, obviously, once I get back into doing events, that will help me complete those too. Number three, when did you begin diamond painting? 
I actually started uh, a year ago in June. So that was June of 2022. Is that right? Yeah, it was June of 2022. My friend Laura over at Anxiety Art Adventures had told me about diamond painting and kind of gave me tips on it. So I ended up buying a kit from Diamond Art Club around March of 2020. Um, I got the kit. I worked on it for a while. I just wasn't enjoying it. And then we ended up moving and it got destroyed in the move, unfortunately. So I ended up throwing that kit away. And then I got back into it around June of 2022. So that was kind of a roundabout way to answer that question. Sorry. You'll have to forgive me. I have social anxiety. And I'm knocking stuff over. All right. Let me move this out of the way again. Question number four. If you could only purchase from one diamond painting company for the rest of your life, who would you purchase from and why? Um, I have to be honest, I'm going to say Diamond Painting Fanatics because one, I love and adore Cindy, uh, two, she has a wonderful variety of artists that do a lot of different types of art, um, so it's a good variety. And then, of course, my diamond paintings are now there for my art, so I can also buy my art. So I kind of have to go with Diamond Painting Fanatics, I think. Um, yeah. Question five. I'm not diamond painting at all. Let me get on to that. Question five. When diamond painting, what is your go-to media to consume? Audiobooks, podcasts, YouTube, etc. I'm going to need a lot more than that. So, I kind of go through these periods where I get really excited about something, and then I kind of dive headfirst into it, and then after a while, I get burnt out, so I have to move on to something else. So I will listen to podcasts, I will listen or watch YouTube while I diamond paint, I will listen to audiobooks, but it's usually one thing at a time. Um, occasionally I'll listen to uh, like an hour of an audiobook and then if I still have more to do in the section I'll switch to either a YouTube video or something. Um, I also tend to listen to what I call my comfort TV shows, these are shows that I watch over and over. Um, so like all the Star Trek shows, uh, the West Wing, just stuff like that. Um, but yeah, I like listening to podcasts and audiobooks too. Um, right now I've kind of gotten a little more tired of audiobooks, even though I have tons in my Audible library that I need to finish. So I paused that subscription and I've been doing podcasts, so... Uh, once I get tired of those, I will move on to whatever next holds my interest. Question number six. What is your favorite category to diamond paint? Landscapes, fantasy, animals, etc. I really love doing fantasy portraits. Um, I'm a big fan of fantasy and science fiction uh, movies, television, and books. So yeah, I really like fantasy. I do like some dark fantasy but I'm not a fan of skulls or snakes, so I tend to avoid uh, canvases that have those kind of images in them. Uh, not always, sometimes I'll like what I see, but typically I avoid those. Um, I do love foxes too, so I kind of have a habit of buying a wonderful fox diamond painting if I see it. I need to get to diamond painting, I haven't done that at all can't call it a whipping chat if you're not whipping. Alright, question seven. What is the artist you have completed the most diamond paintings from? 
if you consider my whips, I have like four that are Rose Prophet. Um, in terms of finished ones, those are only the really the Amazon ones. Um, I have the pink dragon that I did for last year's breast cancer awareness event. Um, and I have a couple gnomes and I did the pride event last year. So uh, I don't know who the artist is for those. So I'm going to kind of alter the question a little bit in terms of the whips I have ongoing. Because I know the artist for those. And one is a Mandy Manzano that I have for Mermaids and Magic last year that I still need to finish. And the others are all Rose Prophet. Question number eight. Uh, actually, I just answered that one, I believe. Yes, I did. Question number nine. What is your go-to wax when diamond painting? Well, I really enjoy using the O-snap dots in my single placer. And then I like using the Nix's Notions putty in my multi-placer. Um, pretty much any putty will work. But um, I use this caulk or Nix's Notions putty and I just placed an order with Laura over at Anxiety Art Adventures. Uh, she just opened up her online shop for WeWax again so I placed a couple of orders for that so that should be arriving this weekend I believe. I'm excited to get my hands on that and give it a try. Um, I missed the release last time so I didn't get to try it. I'm excited to try it this time. Uh, question number 10. What do you do with your finished diamond paintings? Do you hang them, put them in a portfolio, or something else? Uh, I finished The Elephant and the Dream from Diamond Art Club, and we framed that, and I gave it to my uh, nine-year-old sister, Declan. So uh, that one was framed. I have the pink dragon hanging on the wall. And then all of the rest of them are in a portfolio. Um, those are the, all the 30 by 40s. Uh, once I start getting some of these five whips done, uh, they're closer to 60 by 80 centimeters. So those will either get put directly on the wall or I will frame them first. Keep losing my place and forgetting what number I'm on. Uh, number 11. Do you like to open your kits right away, or do you keep them sealed until you are ready to work on them? Honestly, that depends on whether or not I want to do an unboxing video. If I already have a whip going on, and the event isn't for a few months, what I will tend to do is leave it in the box until I get closer to that date, and then I can open it film the unboxing and start to kit it up. Um, I do have some that are opened, um, like sneaky peeks and stuff like that. But uh, yeah, for the most part, I will leave them kitted, leave them in the box until I'm ready to film or kit them up. Number 12. What is your number one unicorn kit that you currently do not own, but hope to one day? Um, honestly, I don't really have a unicorn kit. Um, I really want to get the Marsha P. Johnson kit by Hannah over at Iterations Crafts. Uh, that one's available at Rose Profit Creations. And of course, I also want to get Henbane Pokeweed which is one of Rose's, but um, unicorns, I don't really have any, um, I'm lucky in that in the ones that I found recently that I had to have, I was able to purchase them from some funds that I had saved, and I haven't really seen anything lately that I had to have except for a couple of my own and they're on the way so um, yeah not really any unicorns for me 
Number 13. What is the kit in your stash you are most looking forward to working on? Uh, that has got to be Forest Fox by Craftably. I was planning on using that kit for Claws and Paws last year and it didn't end up working out so uh, I just ended up leaving it in the the tube that it came in but yeah I really want to get into it and get to those special drills um, if you're familiar with that kit at all it has kind of like these round uh, drop sized drills um, I believe it's a square canvas with round uh, special drills so yeah I'm looking forward to that one the most I believe number 14 do you prefer confetti color blocking or a mix of both uh, for the most part I like to have a nice mix all right guys I am back sorry my recording stopped because I needed to clean up some space on my laptop so I did that uh, while I was waiting for the file to save I uh, worked a little bit on this here just so I could have some progress since I'm not very good at diamond painting while I talk uh, let's see I believe I left off showing my password there uh, I left off at number 14 do you prefer confetti color blocking or a mix of both even though I like color blocking um, I think a mix is good because I get kind of bored if I end up doing the same thing over and over so with color blocking um, even when you multi place I still get kind of bored with that pretty quickly so uh, yeah I think a mix is a nice balance number 15 how do you pick which piece you want to work on next uh, typically I will choose a canvas based on an event that's coming up um, actually that's been how I've selected pretty much all of my canvases they've been based on events that I'm doing uh, I picked this one because I was gonna work on it for Phoenix Fantasy and then uh, my dad's death kind of threw a wrench in that plan but I'm I'm enjoying it and working on it now so uh, like I said I might do one of my foxes for claws and paws so for the most part it's either if I have an event coming up that I want to work on a specific canvas for a specific event or if I'm just really tired of having a canvas on the shelf that yeah, yeah I, that was a weird way to say it but I'm not gonna edit that out so you're welcome <laughs> you are seeing the real me uh, let's see number 16 what is your favorite season holiday to diamond paint from uh, my favorite holiday is Halloween so I am going to say that anything Halloween or monster uh, dark fantasy related uh, kind of fits with Halloween so anything in the fall Halloweeny season. Number seventeen. Do you work on one kit at time? Do you work on one kit at a time, or have multiple whips at once? Well, when I started, I was doing one at a time, but that has quickly uh, changed because I'm not able to finish a lot of the kits I get for events. So. Um, a lot of the whips, I, well, pretty much all of the whips I have are from events that haven't been finished. So I would like to get back to doing one at a time, but I don't know. Sometimes you just need to change, and uh, the events kind of help build the community. So sometimes you just have to put some kits on hold to start something new so that you can kind of celebrate with the community. Number 18, neutral dark pieces or colorful pieces. Um, I really like 939, um, but I'm going to go for the colorful pieces. I like this purple, this blue here. It's almost like a, um, like a violet blue. That's not what I'm thinking of. 
the word is escaping me right now. Um, yeah, I like bright colors. Number 19, large pieces or snack size pieces. I like working on large pieces, uh, even though they take me for, even though they take me forever, I feel like they give you a better image, um, a lot more detail. So I prefer to work on larger pieces. Uh, question number 20, do you place diamonds with tweezers or a pen? I always use pens. Um, I've tried to use tweezers before and other than like picking one up and moving it to the correct place um, I always use a pen. I'm sure I would get better with tweezers if I use them more frequently but I just like collecting pens. Number 21 squares or rounds. I prefer squares I feel like they give a better image especially the larger you go um, I just feel like the image is better and you get more detail but that's not to say I don't like doing rounds um, I actually recently requested a round from Cindy for a sneak peek and yeah I just thought it would be nice to do something different because all my whips are squares. Uh, number 22, what is your favorite method for placing AB drills? Uh, what I'll typically do is I'll have a standard pin that I'll use for regular drills and then if I can reach here. I have this pen with kind of the offset uh, single placer tip and I have some putty in there and I will use this pen specifically for A B drills because the putty seems to work better when it comes to ABs. The glue dots I feel like they work better with the standard drills. Uh, number 23 what is your preferred method of sectioning off a canvas? Uh, I kind of jump back and forth but I really like using washi tape. That's probably my preferred method. Um, I do also use release sheets occasionally. I actually have some with my logo that I got from Crashly not too long ago. But yeah, I like getting fun washi tape that kind of matches the theme of the event that I'm doing and it just kind of helps get me into the mood of the event. So definitely sectioning off of the washi tape is my preferred method. Number 24, do you have any other crafty hobbies aside from diamond painting? Uh, I like to do watercolor painting and art journaling. Um, I haven't done it in a while just because I haven't really um, felt a desire to. That's kind of one of those things that I got burnt out on because I kind of dove headfirst into that when I was going through depression and anxiety and that's kind of like all I focused on when I was awake to keep from like all the dark thoughts and stuff and after a while I, I just got burnt out so I haven't felt like doing any of that stuff um, I also like doing uh, stamps and coloring them with markers or watercolor um, I love water soluble pastels those are fun I have done a little bit of knitting and I've tried crochet I am just not very good at it um, I have the basic stuff down but I am not good when it comes to the patterns um, so yeah I just I just need a lot more practice before I'm gonna be able to do anything that I could uh, gift someone see um, that's pretty much it I like doing AI art I like doing video editing um, yeah that's basically it number 25 who do you tag in this video of course I'm gonna tag my BFF Cindy also known as diamond painting fanatics she's the owner of diamond painting fanatics so I will tag Cindy uh, I want to tag Bessie Barkley I want to tag Reese from A Day in Reese's World and I'm going to tag Kay from Crafting with Kay. Uh, if any of these people are already tagged I apologize. Uh, I tried to kind of look and see but I didn't go through every possible video to make sure they weren't already selected so uh, yeah those are the four I'm going to tag and then it looks like we have a bonus question here. 
If you still have it, show us the first diamond painting you ever completed. I do still have it. Um, got to be careful because that's exposed. Uh, hang on, let me zoom you out a little. This is an Art Dot Jaguar. Is it a Jaguar? It's a Leopard, sorry. An Art Dot Leopard that I completed for the Pride event that was run by Christopher and Angie last year. So this is the first diamond painting I've actually completed. Um, yeah, I was really happy with this. It's round, so it was something I was able to do kind of quickly, even though like I said, I'm a slow poke and I don't necessarily diamond paint every day. But yeah, I think it turned out really great. It's a 30 by 40. And even inside of the portfolio, you can see the sparkle on it. Yeah, I am very happy with that. I think I knocked it around a little here. So thank you so much for joining me for this video. I really appreciate you taking the time to stop in and kind of catch up with me. And I hope you learned a few fun details about me that you might not have already known. Uh, of course, I'm going to have a link to all of the items that I used in this video in the description, as well as the channels for the people that I tagged. So be sure to go give them some love and watch their videos and learn some wonderful things about them. I would definitely appreciate it if you liked this video because it does help with the YouTube algorithm and gets my channel exposed to uh, more viewers. Um, I do also want to uh, kind of do a little quick celebration. I did reach 500 subscribers in the time that I've been away. I think I'm at 504 now. Um, so that's wonderful. It just blows my mind that so many people are uh, willing to subscribe and watch my videos. Um, I know I am kind of awkward and my editing can sometimes be kind of weird. Um, but I appreciate the support and the love everyone has shown for me and my family during this difficult time that we're going through. Um, yeah, if you would like to continue su to support me, um, you can always pick up one of my diamond paintings from Diamond Painting Fanatics. Uh, the artwork is licensed, so I do get a small um, licensing royalty, I guess is the correct term, <laughs> for every one that I sell. So I would certainly appreciate it. Um, I'm going to go ahead and keep working on all of this black and I will just uh, put it into time lapse so that you can at least see that part finished and I will see you on the flip side. Bye everyone.